Well, hey there, my sweet summer child. So you want to glow up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh! Same. Jesus, barely started. The cars are already flying out. Fucking hell. Okay. Well, I'll start. I mean, the reading's already started, but let's actually do the ceremony, shall we? so to speak. So taking this time now to connect to the energies of the earth and the energies of the heavens and to deeply thank all of the guides, the ancestors and the high vibrational light beings converging now, working for those highest good, working for the highest good of all beings in all places. surrounding the space in golden protective light so that again only that which serves your highest good may come through so the world's obsessed with glow ups let's see where you're at let's see what you can do to improve let's see what needs attention action let's see how you're doing emotionally Let's see how you're perceiving your reality at the moment, which is not the same as actual reality. Perception and what reality is very different all the time. And let's see the outcome of this vibrational frequency that you're in right now. Hey, we got four cards at the end, so that's going to be fun. Let's just clarify the information. Second deck. This is my numerology deck. This is the Angels and Ancestors Oracle card deck. If you're interested. So we're just clarifying the energy now. Um, a lot of people ask me how to like choose an Oracle card deck. Honestly, it's like the one chooses the wizard in Harry Potter. The, these, these decks will choose you. Go into a new agey shop, right? Have a browse. This is the first deck I ever bought and it literally sang to me. My whole body vibrated. I was like, all right, I'm taking you home. Same with this one. Anyway, let's keep going with the reading. <laughs> okay, good. There's a lot to say about the future, about the outcome of the frequency, so let, we, we'll have that to look forward to. Now, we've got nine piles of cards here, usually about two to seven cards in each pile. We're going to go through them one by one, and I might feel called to do acts of healing or activations in certain chakras, um, or activate certain meridian pathways in your body, but um, I'll let you know what to do if we, if we do that. But yeah, let's begin. Okay, so the glow up. We're starting at the beginning. This is capturing where your energy is right now. Let's have a look. Now these were the two <laughs> these were the two cards that, that came out for you that flew out in the beginning of the session. And I'll show them to you. Okay, the sage, the sage, and the stargazer. Okay, wow. So devotion and commitment and setting your sights higher. What is the numerology card it's clarified by? The number 33, spiritual leader, perfectionist at the, at the bottom. We got words like, and you might not resonate with all of these words and that's okay, but I'm just gonna read them out to you. We've got depression, martyr, self-destructive, worry, 
frustrated, judgmental and idealistic written on this card. So what this is telling me is fairly clear, to be honest. It's just like, why are you doing what you're doing? Are you doing it to nurture yourself? Or are you doing it because society has unrealistic beauty standards? Are you trying to improve your health and become more confident and powerful in your body? Or are you doing it to... <laughs> mm. to like look or be a certain way like a certain weight or a certain physique is going to like fix all of the problems in your life because I'm telling you right now it's never going to be good enough when it's coming from a place of of fear of this kind of dense energy of, of shame and of uh of like such criticism of yourself is so like judgmental you know when you've got like such high standards that you're being shoved into your face all the time from social media and from photoshop since you were a young child like you've had subliminal messaging that a eurocentric beauty standard is the only way to exist <laughs> um since you were a child and so that's kind of been drilled into your subconscious here and at a certain level you're never gonna get to this place because the place that you want to be in is not actually physically possible for 99 percent of the population like people have different body types <laughs> people hold weight differently um in in the body and I tell you what, they probably want what you have and you probably want what they have. Nobody <laughs> is ever happy with what they've gotten. Um, so yes. Now there is a way to flip this kind of, okay? So the other side of the spiritual leader, okay? The three plus three, six. Um, instead of coming from a place where it's like you're, you're using this thing, the glow up, to like fix all of your emotional problems but when you are glowing up from a place of love and you just want to feel more powerful and more confident and and happier and like maybe less social anxiety maybe more psychic ability like it depends what your glow up situation is okay it depends why you want what you want because ultimately i mean you do have Set your sights high and the sage. So like devotion and commitment and you can achieve the um, like highest vibrational version of yourself in this lifetime. Okay, but this idea of perfection that you've been chasing after is not realistic and it's not supposed to be. Um, so yeah, wow. Goodness, I think I think we need to do some healing to just kind of switch this self-destructive frustration into faith. So like, okay, let's just, I'm going to begin, okay? And I'm just going to guide you through a very basic visualization exercise. So close your eyes now, breathe deeply into your abdomen, through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth if you can. If you have to breathe through your mouth, that's fine. And I just want you to picture yourself. And yes, you can picture your body, but I want you to picture your mental state. Like focusing upon happiness and self-acceptance and gratitude for the body that you have because it really is a miracle that you are here by all standards, that you have made it to this point. And after hundreds and hundreds of years, thousands of years, we still don't fully know how the human body works. We're still getting there. And you just existing is a fucking blessing, okay? Let's just focus on sending gratitude and 
loving kindness to yourself. Just breathing in loving kindness. This loving kindness has a white purifying light and as you're breathing out toxic beauty standards All of this nasty stuff that has been fed to you ever since you were a child. Well done. That was a huge shift in your energy just there. So you may have felt that in your, your stomach, your sacral. It will affect different people. Why? Because Chi, the energy that I'm channeling, is intelligent, it's conscious, it's consciousness. It will go to wherever in the body that it needs to go. There we go. Okay. And just know that this happy, confident, grateful version of yourself already exists they're already a part of you and that the journey to fully embodying their energy your highest vibrational self's energy in this lifetime is going to require work and discipline and focus, but you're also allowed to enjoy the process and have fun because the highest vibrational version of yourself pursues their passion ardently without holding back it's this kind of childlike joy of wishing upon a star and just knowing it's going to come true. And part of the reason that you came down to this physical realm of existence at this time is to enjoy the process of creating in the third dimension. It takes time for your energy to match here. You can change in an instant right now you are this person but it's going to take time and devotion and commitment to fully embody that self and that journey is all part of the fun okay you can open your eyes now if you still had them closed but that was the first pile and we've already done an incredible amount of work on your subconscious beliefs about yourself so well done well done um we'll go to the second pile now and this is what's focusing and grounding you okay yeah yep okay so we have the seer the seer seeing beyond what you think is currently happening right now and the number six compassion responsible nurturing particularly in the home and with your intimate relationships, not necessarily a romantic relationship, but definitely within your relationships, within your home, could be your family. But yeah, um, so th three plus three, six, the six here. So yeah, you're really focusing on, on nurturing yourself. Or you're being very much guided to only work on nurturing yourself at the moment. The seer is about a transition state that you can't see happening because you're kind of stuck in the crucible of transformation, okay? She has her eyes covered, but she trusts. She has faith that she's being led, that she's not doing this by herself. She's seeing the future. She's ordaining the future. She has that knowledge. She has that connection with the universe that you also have. How do you improve this connection to the universe? You nurture yourself. You look inward. You begin spiritual practice. You want to glow up? 
Stop freaking meditating, babe. <laughs> oh. And if you feel like you can't meditate, do Qigong first, right? But this is not going to turn into a rant about Qigong, like literally all of my other content. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're still in the crucible of transformation and that's what you're focused on. Um, universe is recalibrating your life, okay? It's supposed to be chaotic. Change is always chaotic. And it's okay for it to be chaotic, all right? Yeah. You just need to work on being really, really kind and loving and accepting of yourself and actually just practicing these new neural pathways to, to move out of this self-destructive energy of I have to be perfect, I have to be the most shredded, um, I'm talking about like my my difficulties now, like, you know, oh, I want to be the most shredded, I want to be so lean, I want to be, um, you know, no acne, I want to have really nice hair, because I keep pulling my freaking hair out, because trichotillomania, that's a whole other, I'm not going to go into it, but if you, if you have it too, girl, I understand, anyway, so yeah, keeping nurturing, loving to yourself, being devoted and committed, and like, wishing upon that star, but just knowing that it's going to take time and that's okay. You just keep, just keep working on yourself. Okay. Mm. All right. Perspective. Perspective. The third pile. Let's have. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that, that's really, it's really beautiful actually. Um, yeah. So we're again, like going back to this perfection standard that you have for yourself. Um, You've been wanting to heal it for like a really long time, but uh, it, the, the pessimism has kind of kept you from fully getting there, all right? Because we've got the healing, the healing um, coming through here with Medicine Guardian, you know, being open to healing information, Archangel Raphael surrounding your energy at this time. Um, and you, you kind of perceive that, but at the same time, you have the number 22 um, clarifying this energy, this, the, the master builder, the spiritual master builder. But um, I've got unrealistic written at the bottom here, pessimistic, cold, greedy, hasty, self-indulgent, explosive, calculating. Again, not all of these words will resonate with everybody. It's okay. There will be some that ping for you. They go, oh, I feel that. Where do you feel this in your body? How is this resonating with you? You know? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I want to have a bit more of a look before I do a bit more of a deep dive into why you think, like, becoming a happy, healthy, confident version of yourself is unrealistic. <laughs> that's, a, that's an intense one to unpack, okay? So let's just uh, have a look at your rising desires and your primal needs. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, like your, whew, your soul evolution here is like, it's on the right track. It's just your third dimensional self is a bit like, what the frick is going on? I didn't, I don't want to, this is too much right now, to be honest. Okay, we got a she-wolf. I mean, look at the moon, big moon. Oh my God, this is divine feminine rage, really. Um, breaking boundaries, going beyond them completely and unleashing the wild, the wild within that's been like trapped for so long or like held back for so long, or like so tightly constrained by, um, it's, it's like you haven't been able to begin your life yet because you're not perfect and you've been waiting to be that, that girl or that boy or that NB friend, um, you know, before you can begin your life. And, and yeah, so you're like waiting for the end or a new beginning before you can begin. And like, n number nine, okay, humanitarian. Oh, love that for you. But we are scattered, scattered at the bottom here. I'll just read out the other words, okay? Lonely, vain, inconsiderate, insincere, dreamy, dreamy, impulsive, jealous, scattered, a bit all over the place. Let's just, I feel like we need to do a bit of an unscattering of your energy, you know what I mean? Unscatter your energy, darling. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm. So just at this time, asking for your guides to just step in and bring me to the places in your timeline, in your history, in your Akashic record, the trauma or the sadness, the grief. 
Can we just bring these pieces of you back now, cleansed and purified and held so deeply in loving arms? There we go. Felt that very, very deeply for you in the sacral, in the sacral chakra. Mm. Let's just get a bit more insight on that. Because it's something to do with releasing shame. It was releasing some kind of shame. Oh, yeah, okay. Mm. Yeah, number four has come out here in the positive. So like stability. Mm, committed, hard work, practical. The green is also bringing me to the heart, which is telling me it's 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 opening. You're starting to to flourish here, but that is bringing with it a lot of intense emotional stuff. Okay, yeah. So just um, be patient with yourself there. Give yourself space and time. Hmm. Okay, let's just ground some of you because. Some of you are bawling your eyes out right now. It's okay. This is a safe space for you to do that. For you to release. You need to release the emotion that's been bottled up within you for so long. Yeah, there you go. Down to the earth, to the energies of the earth, to the earth mother. That was nice. Yeah, all right. Some of you are all the way fucked up. But it's okay, so was I. I managed to get through the worst of my shit. So can you. So can you. Yes, you can. It's not unrealistic for you to be happy and healthy and confident in the future, okay? I want you to keep repeating that to yourself because some of your self-esteem is like in the shitter. In the shitter. I mean, I hope we've changed that in the last 22 minutes and 22 seconds that we've had together um, as the recording said that. I was like, lol. So that's nice. I mean, two plus two plus two plus two. Eight. Okay. Abundance. Wow. Going after your, you know, your stuff. Sorry, I keep, I'm, I'm going to stop doing that. But also two, like coming into balance. Okay. Coming into balance. Mm. That's it. That's a big one. All right. How are we doing emotionally? This is the fifth pile. Fifth pile of cards. Emotions. Oh, yeah. Okay, no, I love this for you, actually. So the knight, being brave and honest, open and vulnerable about what you want. Vulnerable is particularly the thing here. It's like if you, you're pursuing like a certain course of study or a certain um, degree or a certain job because it's safe, it's stable but it's not actually something that your heart wants to do, that is a really hard thing to admit to yourself. And part of your glow up is actually pursuing your passion and pursuing freedom in how you express yourself in this, in this world, okay? And I know it's hard to see, but there's actually a tear running down this knight's cheek. And this is clarified by the number five, freedom. Freedom to express yourself. The blue is bring me to the throat. Expressing yourself, being open about what you want. It's leading to freedom for you. Five, of course, we talk about fifth dimensional stuff, but um, it's more just Aquarian energy. That that's nice. There, that's just like the free flowing. I'm, I'm yeah, just like being able to do whatever the frick you want in this lifetime and not feeling. Like you have to do something else because you have to make money um, or you have to do a certain like, yeah, no, it's like you're breaking out of that mold. OK, that's what this is about. The, the rising desires and primal need is to break boundaries, go beyond them completely and embrace your divine wild feminine energy. And we had a huge release in the sacral chakra, which I think is going to be doing that for you like this is quite a. You are, whew, you are receiving some freaking divine transmissions right now. Holy moly. But yeah. So being brave and honest about your emotions, how you feel doing stuff. Like I feel some of you are, 
I mean, the knight, what does the knight do? It defends and protects the innocent. Like, but also very much like on the spiritual path. Um, and all of you here are on the spiritual path. Let me tell you right now, okay? The center of your energy said spiritual leader. So don't try and be like, me? Really? Surely not. Yes? You, actually. For shizzles. Um, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Number six. Number six, what needs attention and action from you, okay? <laughs> you need to learn to meditate, my friend. <laughs> I know. I know. It's so, it's so annoying, but you have to actually... <sighs> so we've got the drum, dream and journey, okay? This is actually a warrior, warrior symbol. It's like beating the drum to go to war. So well, like, what, what does it going to war involve? Like facing your fear, facing fear, um, like fighting to get to a certain end point. Um, th this is in terms of your glow up, like the drum, yes, it's, it's, this it comes up in the war thing, but it's also a shamanic tool to go on journeys. And that's what it's actually like. So, so sitting with the fear in the body, uncovering the fear from the from the emotion because the fear is covering an emotion right the emotion that you've been running away from for a really long time about what's what's stopping you from getting to the change that you want like the, the change that you want will come through deep compassion and love and self-acceptance for yourself and you will begin to get there once you learn how to meditate <laughs> if you can't meditate i'm just going to talk about meditation and how to do it because the dream and journey is clarified by five again so the thing that you want this is connected to your emotions we had the emotion pile number five came out you know oh and now this again so this is this is something you you want that good fortune you want that fun you want to be busy in a good way you want to have full of new ideas you might be traveling but learning stuff how you do that is by first calming down the body, right? If you try and meditate while your mind is, then the chi is overactive. And you won't fucking do anything, okay? I have had incredible results with meditation and my meditation practice by doing a little bit of exercise beforehand. It doesn't have to be anything intense. Okay, like a 10 minute fast walk, honestly, and then stretching and then qigong. So if you want to meditate like anything, okay, about 20 minutes beforehand, minimum, but really 30 minutes, you should do some form of activity that gets the qi and the blood moving. Sorry, Yarrow. Um, stretch or mobility exercises. And qigong and the stretching and qigong can come together there are so many videos on youtube of good qigong routines i'm in the middle of like uploading my own routine i'm in the middle of like creating a how to meditate and astral project and meet your spirit guides and all the fun stuff program i don't know if it's going to be out by the time this video is out but at some point that'll that'll also be available to you if if you would like <laughs> um so yeah start meditating all right. Oh my God. Then you'll discover how, how psychic you are and how loved you are. And like, you are very deeply loved. You are surrounded by love. It's just, you don't, you're still learning how to feel it. You're still learning to open your heart to love as an energy. Cause it's been hurt and it's been easier to close off and pour your energy into the material world of looking a certain way or thinking a certain way i mean thinking no, no no looking a certain way can be a problem okay when you've grown up in the society that we have but we've already talked about that so yeah if you want the, the main thing from that particular esoteric ramble is if you want the change you have to have a little bit of discipline and that discipline does not have to be perfect the first time. Like you take your time, everyone's a bit different. What's worked best for me is a bit of physical activity, qigong, meditation, journaling. Journaling has helped me in my glow up journey. Ooh, the cards just fell down, so that's a good sign. 
They were just standing up on my... Anyway, I'm going to keep going. Seventh pile. The seventh pile. The seventh pile. This is about where to place your intent. Holy shit. Uh, oh my god. Okay, Um. this is quite... This is quite a combo. We have the Magic Guardian. Hmm? Unlock the magic within. Your power is inside of yourself. Don't look outside of yourself for your power. That's what this means. Clarified by the number two. In, like, imbalance. Intuition. Written at the bottom here. High Priestess. Intuition. Written in the centre here. Sensitive. Moon. Moon emotions. The moon is popping up for you. Look at this. Breaking those boundaries, going beyond them completely, connecting with your divine feminine wild energy. Going beyond the boundaries that society has set for you. That is the main thing here. Those boundaries that society has set for you are those unrealistic fucking standards and all the models that you see and the Kardashians being like, yeah, all you need to do is have a celebrity chef and work out six days a week and, you know, get so much plastic surgery and you can have a body like us, but they're selling you detox tea instead. Like it was never going to work. <laughs> it was never supposed to be like that. <laughs> That's why you're all over the place, but you're, you're in, you're connecting, you're connecting. The moon here, rising desires and primal need is connecting with your emotion. And your emotion is about wanting freedom, wanting change. But that requires you to be honest and open and vulnerable about how you're feeling. Instead of running away or numbing yourself. Numbing myself from my feelings is my favourite thing to do. So there's no judgement from me. I'm just the messenger, okay? But yeah, holy shit, hold, you, hold yourself in with some empathy, okay? You give so much, you do, but it's time to come into balance. Like connecting with your power, like this is, oh, solar plexus, straight up. Straight up solar plexus queen here, really. Look at the golden light, you know, the power, <laughs> unlock the magic within. She's so sure and confident of herself. Like this, this is the energy that you need to be like visualizing for yourself in the future when you're focusing on your glow up, all right? Connecting with your emotion, your intuition. Connecting with deities maybe that want to like uh, uh, transform certain chakras for you to help with this. If you, yeah, like call upon some deities to help you with this shit. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm not going to go into the time I went into communion with Lilith for like three hours, but that shit was wild. It was wild. Oh my God. And I felt her in my energy for like, four or five days afterwards doing like massive clear outs my sacral chakra that was about a year and a half ago it was a crazy time anyway let me know if you want a story time about that <laughs> and we'll move on to the second last pile this is what needs to let go let flow in your life okay haha <laughs> yeah all right well the protection guardian the female embodiment of the Archangel Michael here. Um, very fierce, protective, loving energy saying that it is safe for you to drop the barriers that you've placed around yourself to stop anyone from seeing you. Uh, this is unmasking. This is being authentic and unapologetically authentic, okay? Uh, this Clarified by the number five in, um, in the shadow here, in the shadow. So we've got restless. Hmm. Restless. Lacking direction. Interesting. Bored. Yeah. There's that, like, dreamy, detached, 
not quite manic we call it like deficient heat in chinese medicine just like slightly agitated just like Whoa. if you want to be that girl or that boy or that baby friend you have to be very solidly in your power and not all over the place because like people will be most uh they, they will notice you when you are calm within yourself yeah yeah mm, that's the thing isn't it all right let's go to the last pile this is the outcome of your vibrational frequency this had a shitload of cards come out so yeah we got two numerology cards and four oracle cards so this is ooh. okay okay yeah okay overall we are doing really well here this is really good there is a little bit of a warning for you as well so just good to know really isn't it um the first thing that i'm being drawn to is the hermit this is about retreating and recharging your energy to see your seeds grow with spring here to see your seeds grow um the situation that you find your that you are in right now having clicked on this video you are on the verge of burning out from it all okay it's not being good for you they are saying retreat recharge calm what is the hermit doing going into deep meditative states okay mm. the other two oracle cards the wise one this is about devotion and commitment again but it's also the triple goddess it is also divine feminine intelligences wishing to connect with your energy to help you learn and grow and overcome your you might not realize it or maybe you do realize it but like you are a, a witch or a priestess a, a wise woman a medicine person you have worked very very you, you've done a lot of work with these entities before you might not remember it but from previous lifetimes you, you've done a lot of work you have connections to them to their energy and they are calling out to you in a very big way in this reading saying connecting to the to the um energies of the moon to the energies of like uh, certain animals like um if you're seeing a lot of like black flying crows recently or ravens or owls or i don't know a lot of foxes or wolves like those are all energies like reaching out to you saying that there's something there to explore so like dreaming and journeying that's all i'm gonna say okay i've given you enough to go on here but you have to begin you have to learn to receive this is the final oracle card okay um yeah you see how tranquil she is you see the snake completed transformation so like you are getting there you are going to do it you are going to be the the person all right but it, it requires compassion and operating from your heart and love um and, and like pursuing your passion you know your your reason to exist in this world really rather than from a place of, of fear of i have to look a certain way or i'm not good enough if i don't get to a certain weight or i don't have striations in my shoulder muscles um yeah and look we i'm going to the numerology cards now we have the number nine so endings again endings came up for you in your rising desires and your primal needs okay so it's like you listened you unscattered yourself i also helped unscatter you a bit with some healing and that was quite good so it's nice to see this confirmation come up even within the reading as we're doing it you know so the tying up of loose ends emotional fulfillment uh new beginnings that's what this endings means it's completion of a way of being and doing that was no longer serving you and moving into a completely new freaking energy that's like what you've been working towards okay and now to the warning all right we have the number eight in shadow so at the bottom here it says materialistic materialistic 
Uh, I'm going to read the rest of the words again. This might not resonate with all of you and that is okay. So we've got controlling, focus, insensitive, persistent, blunt, angry, and greedy with achieve, achiever. So echoes of this perfectionist self are going to echo through you as you move into this different way of thinking, as you shift timelines, as you quantum jump, whatever you want to call it, all right, changing the way you're perceiving yourself over time, slowly, lovingly. There will always be a part of you that you must constantly challenge that's only going to care what results you see on the outside. So your body, like how tan you are, how big your whatever is, that's going to be hard for you to let go of. But that, that intense focus on the material world, it takes time to train yourself to think out of that. Okay, and on the other side of this card, on the other frequency of this card, is confidence, is infinity, is success and happiness and power. The orange also leading me back to your sacral chakra. So again, the crone, this wild divine feminine energy is very much wanting to connect with you to help you have a more grounded and holistic view on your journey throughout this lifetime as opposed to a very very slender one which is about the physical little meat suit that you're in right now but yeah wow that was let me know in the comments how you how you feel with that and i promise to do more long long content this was a really quite beautiful message and um yeah holy shit if my program is out by the time i release this please buy it it's really freaking good i'm like pouring so much love and effort into it like the qigong the meditation the working through the chakras the connection with your guides accessing akashic records and past lives and learning more about your soul's evolution um up until this point and where you're going to go to a certain extent that's that's where you go baby <laughs> i would tell you the price but i haven't quite figured it out yet so that's chill and lots of love and i will see you soon <laughs>